Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. If you are, my name is Jade Monet, and today I'll be doing a hair tutorial review on this hair that I received from Yolissa Hair. And honestly, you guys, I mean, she's stunning. Let me just give you guys the specs really quickly before I jump into the tutorial. So this is their Body Wave 5x5 HD lace closure wig in 22 inches and it's 180 percent density and i got it in the natural color but i did dye it soft black and i'll show you guys exactly how i did that later in the video but i used the watercolor method and i really love the way that it came out like it came out bomb um what else did i do oh i cut layers into the hair but i haven't trimmed the actual length of it so this is true to the length that it came in. For reference, I'm 5'3". So if you would like to see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. When you do the watercolor method, you want to keep the lace as far away from the water as possible. So I'm just going in and dyeing all of the hair near the lace so that I can keep it outside of the bucket. So now I'm just filling the bucket with water and adding the box dye. I used two boxes of just regular box dye in soft black and then I'm going to start dipping the hair carefully to make sure that it doesn't get on the lace. Then I'm just going to let it sit in the water for about 20 minutes. I bleached the knots off camera but I wanted to show you guys how they turned out and the cap has two combs on the side, one on the bottom and an adjustable hook as well. So now I'm just going to do the bald cap method. I use alcohol wipes to get out any makeup or oil on my face and then I use the got to be glued sprayed to secure the cap down. I'm not going to show you because I'm no pro but this is how it turned out. I use my bronzer because it's closest to the color of my forehead to make it look like a scalp and I'm just using the alcohol wipe again and my ghost bond glue to secure the wig. I believe that I used two coats. I placed the lace off camera so that it would be precise, but I used my comb to press the lace into the glue. And this is what it looks like. So now I'm just cutting off the lace. Another thing that's really hard to do on camera, but I'm just moving the scissors in a zigzag motion so that it looks more natural. And I'm gonna go in with my got to be spray to secure it and I'm gonna wrap it up and let it sit for 10 minutes. Everyone needs this spray for their units. It's my favorite product to use on my wigs. I don't really like to apply a lot of product. This is literally the only thing that I use aside from mousse. And it just makes the hair so shiny and it removes frizz. It protects from heat. It's just literally my favorite product. I like to style my wigs with baby hair because when I wear my natural hair, I always have baby hair so I feel like I don't feel like myself without them and I feel like it just frames my face a little bit better so I'm just going to take those out and cut them and I use mousse to mold them. And this is my favorite mousse by the way. I love this brand so much like literally can't go wrong using this brand on your units. So now I'm gonna curl the unit. I'm using that same spray and my curling wand, which I will have linked below if I can find it. They're just super bouncy and shiny. I'm telling you guys, get that hairspray. And I cut layers into the front of the unit just to frame my face, but I did it off camera because I wanted to 
be closer to my mirror so I'm also no professional when it comes to <laughs> cutting hair so probably best I didn't show it anyway so oh, this is like the best part honestly brushing out those curls and as you can see the curl is holding amazing and it's super shiny and yeah this unit is so bomb just flattening out the front of the unit to sort of give it some lift so the last step is concealing your part and I only really did it at the end because I normally put powder or foundation on the other side of the lace, on the inside of the wig, um, but I forgot to do that step, so I'm just trying to make it super seamless. I have really no complaints about this unit. It's been a week since I filmed this video and I still have it installed and it's bomb. I actually filmed a video today with it on, so if you guys want to check out my Zara haul video it'll be coming out within the next couple of days and you guys can see how it held up over the week so this is pretty much what the hair looks like after about an hour I let the curls just drop a little bit just to I don't know show you guys how the curl holds and I didn't even use hairspray and it's I mean, it looks bomb still, so what else can I say? Um, the only thing that I will note is that um, the wig cap is pretty snug on my head. I'm always a size small, but sometimes the smalls are a little roomy still on my head. So if you're used to ordering a certain size and it's always snug, maybe size up. But that might just be because it's a closure and you can't like glue down the perimeter so it makes sense for it to be snug. So I'm not complaining about it. It fits my head like perfectly. Let me see. Literally no shedding okay i got one strand nothing literally nothing like this hair is really good i was genuinely impressed um yeah i mean i feel like you guys watched me install it and everything i feel like everything is pretty self-explanatory this hair speaks for itself i really don't have anything negative to say about it i think maybe next time when i reinstall it i think i might try to do like a side part so yeah follow me if you want to see that um but yeah i mean the lace the lace literally melted right into my skin it's just a stunner okay yeah I don't even know what else there's to say about it but um if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in my next video